So I've made a new brush. It's a jewelry chains brush, which you can get in the video description below. It's available on Gumroad for free and uh, go grab it. Once you do, unpack it somewhere in your hard drive, go into ZBrush, press B, load brush, load the brush. It's called IMM Curve Chains. And once you do, you'll have 12 different brushes in here. So each of these chain brushes are designed to be a curve, the size of your brush. If you press S and make it bigger, it's gonna make it bigger. Um, and you can change the brush to another one by just clicking on that and then clicking on the curve that you've already drawn or draw out a new curve. So each of these are designed to work. Some of them will have holes in them because they're designed to be welded together at the, at the end. Some of them won't. Um, and just drag them all out. They are designed to have a dy dynamic subdivision turned on. So um, if you don't have that on, you're going to need that to turn that on just to make sure that they're actually uh, smoothed at the end. All of them work. I'm going to undo this for a second. All of them work in the same way that you'd expect a curve brush to work in that um, you can just drag out from a surface and once you're on the canvas, if you hold down shift, it will snap and it will draw all the way around that surface. So from here, you can see that there's uh, these brushes are maybe not in, uh, embedded as much as you'd like, or if they are, so you can change that by just changing the depth here and clicking again on the curve and that will push them out if that's what you want to do. So all these brushes work the same way. And on some of them, for example, this one here, you can, if you go to your stroke menu, which I've docked over here on the side, you can change your curve step and you can uh, make it a little bit tighter. So the next time, sorry, so the next time you, you, you draw out that curve, it'll be a tighter weave, um, if that's what you're looking for. Um, same goes for the likes of this brush here. So by default, it's set to this, but if you make it um, a little bit shorter, uh, maybe that's a little bit too much. We can go down to something like this. Um, and again, as you make your brushes, the size of your brush will change. So if you increase, you'll increase. Uh, that chains. That's a flat curve brush. So they're all descriptively named. Um, but if you do change your curve step distance for some of them, they've been very specifically set. So if you were to change this, for example, and then click on the curve again, um, you may not get the results the result that you're expecting to get because they'll be too spaced apart. So generally keep with the settings you have. Um, the ones that are most easily changed are the likes of the uh, the weave brush down here and maybe this kind of watch chain one down here. I'm hoping to get a new brush out once a month, something like that. Um, so please do consider subscribing, liking, commenting. And if you use the brushes, I'd love to see anything that you create with it. All right, cheers, bye.